Pathology of Otitis Media. When the eustachian tube is blocked due to allergy or infection in the upper part of the respiratory tract, fluid accumulates in the middle ear behind the eardrum. This causes an infection and the middle ear gets inflamed, a condition known as otitis media. The buildup of pressurized pus in the middle ear causes earache swelling and redness. Since the eardrum cannot vibrate properly, one has decreased hearing. Also, there is a feeling of fullness or pressure in the ear with dizziness, loss of balance, nausea, vomiting and fever. Sometimes the eardrum ruptures and pus drains out of the ear. But more commonly, the pus and mucus remain in the middle ear due to the swollen and inflamed eustachian tube. This condition is serious because of the severe earache and hearing loss it can create. Hearing loss, especially in children, may impair learning capacity and even delay speech development. Otitis media is also serious because the infection can spread to nearby structures in the head. Thus, it is very important to recognize the symptoms of middle ear infections and to get immediate attention from your doctor. However, if it is treated promptly and effectively, Hearing can almost always be restored to normal. Tips to prevent middle ear infections for infants Appropriate management of colds, flu and sore throats and of hay fever and other allergies helps prevent middle ear infections. While breast or bottle feeding babies, avoid holding them in a horizontal position. A semi-inclined position prevents the milk from entering the eustachian tube and infecting the middle ear. Avoid contact of the baby with objects handled by people who have cold. <laughs>